the crowd and narrow streets of busy Ho Chi Minh City, millions of motorbikes are headed to work. The sounds of screeching and honking motorbikes fill the air. The stuffed, colorful motorbikes move around the tall buildings. The strong smell of gasoline and Vietnamese street food fills your lungs. In Vietnam, people buy motorbikes because they can be used in tight spaces. But they create more smog than cars. Yes, unfortunately I can. When I go over a bridge, some days I can see it up in the sky. There's a level of, there's just a, a layer of smog. A lot of people are complaining about the traffic problems in Vietnam. However, the population in Vietnam in 2018 was more than 96 million people with more than 45 million people owning a motorbike. A while later, a new clean electric motorbike stopped. There was a family with three kids. All of them were wearing masks because they knew that a lot of air pollution goes into the lungs of people that don't wear masks on the road. Most people buy motorbikes in Vietnam because they have many uses and are much cheaper than a car. Exactly the same way that we use our motorbike. So they transport people, they get to places, they transport animals, they push smaller vehicles, they tow smaller vehicles, they push each other, they tow each other. They transport everything. We've seen mattresses, we've seen trees, we've seen furniture. I once had a desk chair delivered on just a scooter. But motorbikes are bad for the environment because the fumes that come out of the motorbike create air pollution. If motorbikes continue to be popular in Vietnam, air quality will be worse. By 2020, the People's Committee in Ho Chi Minh City want to close the street of Nguyen Hue to all motorized traffic between 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. on weekends. This is one way that cities all over Vietnam are trying to solve traffic problems. The Transport Authority says that traffic in this area is very heavy and too many vehicles clog the area. If we want motorbikes to be here in 100 years, some possible solutions might be people need to start buying electric motorbikes and cities can start closing streets during different times of the day. Then air quality will get better. People need to start making better choices about transportation so we can live in a healthy and clean environment. <laughs>